Hi everybody, this is Lindy. Thanks for subscribing. Um, and I hope that you find my videos okay or interesting. But anyway, another day in the life of a van dweller. You know, every day is just uh, interesting. So today, I've been watching a certain um, YouTuber for years, years. I don't know how many years. I, I watch many uh, YouTubers, and some of them, uh, you know, Bob Wells, since almost his beginning. Uh, so uh, this other gentleman, uh, it, almost from the beginning, he started. Anyway, so I got a comment that said, uh, a phone number from him, and it said, text me, I have something special for you. So I'm looking at this. This was a reply to a comment I made on one of his videos. I just said, good video. And this was about three months ago. And I'm like, what? Why would he do this? So I texted the phone number. And I said, Robert, is this you? Or is this a scam? Oh, I get right away. I, oh, this is Robert. It's not a scam. You're safe with me. Um, anyway. I shouldn't have said his name, but I, th I just said the first name. So anyway, because Robert has nothing to do with this. So then we're texting back and forth, and I'm discussing solar with him because uh, the comment was on his review of some solar panels. And we're talking, and he said, would you be interested in a Jackery? 1500 You know I have plenty of solar, but... Um, it would be great if I had a, a Jackery 1500 that I could review for people. Um, I don't know if I would keep it. I would have to give it to my son or something because I have enough solar. I don't need any more solar, but I'll be more than happy to review it because Jackery is an excellent product. So I said, absolutely, I would love to have a Jackery. Well, I'm giving those away. And all you have to do is pay for the shipping charge. And I said, well, how much is the shipping charge? This went on for like an hour, guys. So I'm just shortening it up for you. Well, just beginning at $170 for Fed, FedEx. And I'm, I'm looking at this like, this is a lot of money, you know. I don't have an extra $170. I have doctor bills to pay, dentist bills to pay, you know. So... I said, okay, but I can't do that now. I don't have the money. I will have to wait a week or two till I get paid. No problem. Uh, send me your email. Well, I sent him my email, but I didn't feel I didn't feel comfortable with the whole thing. Be you know, and I and I didn't know why. <clears throat> so, the first thing I noticed was the same area code as mine. Robert doesn't live anywhere near me. Why would he have an area code like mine? So then I went back. I just kept researching. I ended the conversation. I said, I'll get back with you next week. I went back to his YouTube, back to the common area, and um, I started looking at the other uh, replies. And the person right above me, <coughs> who did a com very short comment, also got a reply from him. And it was the same reply. Okay, then I started looking at that. You know how they have your picture? Well, the picture was of him, but the e the text on the phone were big red R, different. I'm thinking, oh, I, I think I should never have even given uh, my email. Now, I have several emails, so this was one I'd, I rarely use. So, I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at that. <clears throat> so, then I go back to the text. I call the phone number. The phone number is a Google subscriber. They didn't answer. And it's a global global phone company that transferred me to this Google subscriber. This, if this isn't a scam, I don't know what is. A global phone number, a Zuber. So I, I imagine I'll be paying $170 for nothing. It won't be shipped. And then I'll be fighting with FedEx, and it's probably a phony FedEx thing. So uh, I'm not doing it. 
uh, free jackery or not, I don't have $170 to throw away to some scam artist who doesn't do anything but sit, you know, around trying to scam people out of money. So, so I've been trying to reach out to Robert through his YouTube channel saying, Robert, uh, you know, this person is uh, is sending these tech, you know, replying on your, your channel. Uh, is this, re you know, really you? Can you comment through your channel to me that this is you? I mean, you know, I would come up with $170 for a Jackery. Trust me, a 1500 Jackery is quite expensive. But I'm not throwing away $170. So what do you think? I think it's a scam. I do. I'm waiting for Robert, and if Robert doesn't get back to me, I'm just not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not giving my financial information to them to, you know, when you check the, the he sent me boxes, FedEx boxes, $167, where are you shipping it from? You know, I mean, 167, 174, 180, where's it being shipped from? And how heavy is this puppy? You know, I was thinking maybe $50, but a hundred, no. So I think it's a scam. Do you guys think it's a scam? I, I think it's a scam. Kind of, it bothers me. And nothing feels right about it. So I'm not going to do it. I thought I would tell you about it. Just so you know, those things are out there. I don't know if it's a scam. I don't know if I'm warning you correctly or not. Because I don't know. I just don't feel good about it. I just don't feel good about it. So I'm not doing it. So, until Robert, uh, you know, contacts me through his YouTube, his YouTube, I want to see if he will. But nothing matches up. And he shouldn't have my same area code. And I shouldn't be a global phone company. Wow. I thought I would let you know what my morning has been like being on these texts and on YouTube <laughs> researching. <laughs> I'd love to have a Jackery for free, but there's nothing in life for free, guys. Nothing. I don't think so. I think I'm just being scammed. So you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time. And please give me a thumbs up. I'll talk to you later. Camo.